Okay, hi guys. I thought I'd share some testing that I've been doing today. Um, I'm basically trying to, trying to set up a uh, motion controlled slider for a time lapse in video, but without spending tons of money. Um, and so this is what I've come up with. It's basically my old uh, friction slider, which is sort of, you know, fairly bog standard, run of the mill. It's fairly robust, but it's not a brilliant slider. It's got a bit of a wobble to it. Um, but it's okay if you've got a, a delicate hand when you're using it. Uh, and then on one end of that, I've clamped, um, literally a clamp onto the end of it, and then put my Syrup Genie Mini, um, which is a device for uh, motion, you know, time lapse for panning your camera left to right or looking up and down. Uh, but it doesn't really do much more than that. But it's still fairly nifty, and it's not incredibly expensive compared to a full uh, motion controlled slider rig. Um, by the way, there's a full review for that on my channel. So if you want to see more about that device, then have a look for that. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and then on top of that, I've popped a reel of fishing line uh, and bolted it on fairly firmly and then simply tied the other end of the fishing line to the um, the slider head. So that's the deal. So yeah, it's at maximum speed when the genie's going at full whack. It's a pretty slow uh, slider move for a video, but if you wanted really, really slow creep along, uh, it would work for that. Um, but it's definitely better for time lapse because then you obviously get a lot more control and you can make it go faster or slower depending on what uh, frame rate you, you use and frame uh, what interval you use. Um, so here's some examples. I went to my local beach. It's very grey and overcast. There's hardly any colour, hardly any light today. Um, but you know, I just wanted to test the principle. So don't you know? Apologies for the bad light. Um, and yeah, so here's some shots uh, at my local uh, beach, which is in Hale. This is the bluff, a river mouth, and there's a you know a bunch of um, sort of sand dunes and dog walkers and things. So there's a little bit of movement going on, but obviously it would have been better if there was some nice dramatic skies that I could have captured, but it was just overcast. Uh, and then also in the evening, uh, I went to St. Ives it went when the, after the sun was down and got some sort of nighttime shots to test out the sort of you know long exposure um, dealio with this rig. Um, obviously, you can't you can't sync the camera to the syrup the way I'm doing this, so you couldn't do very very long exposures and not have any motion blur because the shutter is going to be open open as the slider is going to be very slowly creeping along. Um, but it's you know it's fine as long as you're aware of that and you you know you deal with your shutter and you deal with the speed of the actual slider to uh, account for that. I mean a tiny bit of motion blur in the sort of very close objects you know that are parallaxing past. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem as long as you know that's hopefully not your subject. Say if you're following a little crab that was really close to the camera, then yes that would be a deal breaker. But if you kind of want to get the landscape with a bit of movement you know, pulling along beneath the camera, then I think it will be fine. Anyway, I hope that bit of testing I did today was, was useful. Um, it's obviously a not a perfect solution, but it's obviously a lot, lot cheaper than most motion-controlled slider type setups. A like and a sub is always appreciated. Have a look at my channel if you want to see other random camera stuff. Thanks, guys.